Hello, welcome to our Elemental Awakening Celestial Showcase. In this showcase, we're going to show you what Celestial is capable of at you fucking. What Maybe Celestial. You're a dumbass, I was aiming it above your head. Yeah, okay, no shit. Let me fucking finish my sentence. And we're going to fucking show. FUCKING GUITAR STOP! Okay. <laughs> Hello, welcome to an Elemental Awakening showcase video of Celestial. In this showcase, we're going to show you what Celestial is capable of. The first move is Planet Throw. There are three variants of it. It takes 50 mana. The first planet is the red one. It does nothing special compared to other planets. It j just does damage and it stuns. This is what it's like to be hit by the red planet. As you see, it does a decent amount of damage. It, it does ragdoll, but it doesn't apply much stun. The next planet is the black one. It does the least amount of damage out of the other planets, but it, for that it has a longer stun. This is what it's like to be hit by the black planet. As you see, it doesn't do as much damage as the rest, but it draggles and applies a much longer stun. The next planet is the blue one. It does the most amount of damage out of the three. It applies zero stun, but for that it has a really good effect where for 8 seconds an opponent is gonna take 200% more damage from your attacks and others as well. Now for the blue planet. It does the most damage out of the three. It doesn't apply stun or ragdoll, but for that the person hit by it gets a 200% damage reduction. Not damage reduction, defense reduction, but you see it, it does two times more damage. The second move is Lightspeed Clarent. It's a move which would dash towards a direction, resulting in anyone in the radius to be get hit by it and getting ragdolled and stunned. During the move you can also move around and the move takes 80 mana. This is getting hit by a light speed Lariant. As you see I'm stunned for a decent amount of time, I got rattled and it that does really a lot of damage. The third move is Supernova. It's a large AoE attack which rattles. It takes 100 mana to use. This is getting hit by Supernova. As you see you get rattled and uh, not stunned for a lot. Fuck, I, I accidentally misclicked. I don't care! Just the here! Fucking fourth move, Harbingers! It's a fucking AoE move, which if there are any plants nearby, some has a fucking ball towards them. If it hits them, it's gonna stun them for a bit. The move drains 140 mana, there. This so feels like to be hit by Harbingers, which um, it uh, already happened, but here you go. Like, I'll try to escape it, I'm there. The fifth move is Meteor Strike. It summons a meteor out of the sky. It ragdolls and it takes 10% out of your current max mana to be used. This is what it's like to be hit by a meteor. I got ragdolled and the stun is literally non-existent. The move also can be charged for a larger meteor variant. Charging it increases the AoE and the damage of the move. This is what it feels like to be hit by the Charged Meteor Variant. Is the Gamma Man. Here. As, it, as you see, the AoE is giant and there are special effects compared to the other Charged Variants. Also, it does a lot of damage and rebels. Now, for the specially Max Charged uh, Variant of the Meteor. Now, just to wait. It takes a bit. There you go. There you're gonna see a huge jazz meter coming. Where is it? Oh, I think that's it. Yep, I see the shockwave. There, there it's. Oh god. Yep. As you see, the AOE is giant. It draggles and also stuns a bit more compared to, to other variants and does a bit more than the other charge variant of the move. The special ability of Celestial is the E move called Soulfire. It increases your damage by 175% for 10 seconds. It takes 35% of your maximum mana to use. This is the damage of Lariant without Soulfire. 
uh, you saw it, it's like 1691. Now, let's beat Larynet with Soulfire. A street damage is 2960. Now, the combos which you can do with Celestial. The first combo is the Blue Planet variant, then Harbinger, then Soulfire. As you see, it does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Not like a robot, you can't be a robot. The second combo is Harbinger, then Soulfire, then Flight Speed Lariant, then Planet Throw, then Supernova, then Meteor Strike. The Harbinger is gonna chase an opponent. As at the, if the Harbinger hits, you use Soulfire. Then use Light Speed Lariant, which gives you enough fucking... Yep, that's true. That's true, I could move and there's a Meteor which they can dodge, but some Jackass isn't gonna dodge it because they're stupid. Of course, if they block Harm Regards in the second combo, you can do Light Speed Lariant to hit them. I, ex I explained that so fucking badly, but here's the example. Okay, I'm blocking and I just uh, let go block, la 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 la, okay. Okay, in the actual t yeah, 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 nice, yeah, that works, yeah, that works. Uh, let me fucking explain it a bit better. Basically, if they block it, they usually unblock the moment they fucking uh, get blocked the Harmiger, in which case you can do light speed Lariant, which is gonna hit them instantly. Or, in other cases, they're gonna keep holding block, and you can charge your Lariant and make them waste their mana, or until they let go block and fucking hit them with it there. And as an extra, here's the amount of damage which Celestial is capable of. Here it comes. Here it comes. Dude, my fucking HP is in full. Dude. Well, <laughs> you see the fucking damage with it. Warning, even bigger damage. <laughs> Oh, that's the fucking black one. Well... 